Joining me now to discuss is Afia Hagen, CTV's royal commentator. Afia, hello to you. It is becoming hard to keep up. What's the latest this morning from the UK on this photo controversy? Definitely this story is one that rolls on and on and gets more bizarre as the hours are passing. So yesterday we had this photograph released on Mother's Day of the Princess of Wales surrounded by her three children. And upon, you know, initial thoughts, it was great to see a picture of Catherine there smiling and looking happy. But on further inspection, it seems that the photo had been altered. You're absolutely right in saying major news agencies, including Reuters, AFP, AP, Getty and PA Media here in the UK pulled the photo because of concerns over the photoshopping. And it now emerges that Kate herself was the one that photoshopped it. Now, I do have some uh, data on the metadata. We got this from Sky News Analysis here in the UK earlier on today. And they say that it was put through Adobe Photoshop on an Apple Mac twice. Uh, first on Friday night, Friday the 8th of March at 9.54 p.m. And then again on Saturday night of March in the morning at 9.39 a.m. So it was edited twice and it was taken on a Canon 500 ml lens. Now, we don't know who took the picture. Prince William says that he's the person who was behind the camera. Now, we have had this statement from the Princess of Wales herself saying she was the one that edited it. Mm. But this still throws up more questions than answers. You know, when was this picture taken? And why was it edited? Was it that she wanted to get the best shot of the kids? You know how difficult it is to get kids to take a nice picture? Is that why? So she was pulling different shots of the children together. Was it so that she would look better? What was the reason for the editing? And then it also throws up the question of somebody should have spotted this before it went out that perhaps, and no offence, to the Princess of Wales whatsoever, that perhaps people would spot the photoshopping and in an age where we have rumors swirling almost continuously on social media about the whereabouts of the Princess of Wales, that this would in fact pour more fuel onto that fire. It just makes me think, who's in charge of the PR at Kensington Palace and have they been asleep at the wheel? Well, that's just it. And you have hit on every note I wanted to ask you about. Can we go back for a moment and talk about the apology or the clarification, whatever you want to call it, that was issued by Catherine earlier today and, and talk about what is really missing from that mm -hmm. statement? Mm -hmm. And what is missing from that statement is the answers that we want. Why was it photoshopped? When was this picture taken? What was the need for that to happen? It also speaks to perhaps the pressure that she feels under for every picture to be quote unquote picture perfect, to be looking great all the time, for the kids to be looking great all the time, or else that generates its own headlines. And you know, people really want to know, if you compare that to the unofficial paparazzi shot that we had last week on Monday that was published by the, the gossip website TMZ, you know, she looks very, very different in that picture than she does in this one. Mm -hmm. uh, so is it about that she wanted to make sure that everybody looked perfect and everybody looked looked great and that's why she felt the pressure to photoshop it in the first place I yeah, mean yeah. why 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 would you do it and, and where's the line that says I can assure everyone that this photo is authentic or whatever word she would want to use and to your point then Absolutely. about who's in charge of the messaging what can the palace do right now to regain public trust and finally perhaps put an end to these conspiracy theories about where she is and how she's doing You've hit the head, nail on the head that this is all about public trust. Can the public trust anything that any part of uh, the royal family, the monarchy, the palaces are telling us? You know, if, so if this photo wasn't real, what else is not real? And, you know, a lot of people have been saying this morning that actually the only way that you can put, that, put out this fire is if you have the Princess of Wales herself, perhaps holding up a newspaper with today's date, saying, I am fine. That's how extreme it is. And that's how bad it is. And that's how much of a mess that Kensington Palace have to clean up. And actually, it shouldn't be this way. It shouldn't be this way that a person who is recovering from quite a serious surgery has to prove that they are alive because their comms team who are in charge, and I don't think will be in charge for much longer, 
have been caught asleep at the wheel. This is a PR nightmare. It's a disaster and it's a mess that just keeps getting worse and worse, actually, rather than better with every passing hour. I, I'm honestly, I do not know what will happen next in this saga, but I'll look forward to speaking to you about it. Yeah, we'll be calling you right away. Afia Higgin yeah. is CTV's royal commentator. Afia, thank you so much for all of that.